For decades, the school in Arlington served as a place of learning. A stage for entertainment. A center for competition. It was a focal point, a home for the community of Arlington. But since its closing in 1987, the school's many purposes are just memories. Today, it sits vacant with broken windows and crumbling walls. Debris litters its once active halls and classrooms. Nature and time have weakened the ceilings and roof as water pours into the building, hastening the deterioration. This once proud meeting place, a rallying point for the community, is now an eyesore and even worse, a rapidly increasing danger. And I think the school held everything together because uh, when the school closed, uh, the whole town just changed. When I walk by the school, I look over there and all the broken windows and all the memories. It, it's very sad what has happened. It's a eyesore, it's a health issue, it's a danger issue, we gotta get it down. Now, after a quarter of a century, there is hope, a plan, a way to change our present and our future, an opportunity to use the land that was yesteryear's beacon of community wellness and growth to create tomorrow's new center of hope in Arlington, the possibility of starting anew, a chance to raise the school and raise the community by building a new community center for you, your family, and all of Arlington. And this is our time to move forward, get that done, and make Arlington have a very nice facility for a very long time, just like this building once was to. I'm a supporter of the project, first and foremost, because I respect the, the building that's there right now. I respect the Arlington School Building. I respect the education that it gave to children, the gathering place for the community. I respect its history. I respect the people who built the building, the people who taught in the building, um, the people, the custodians, the secretaries, the parents, um, the, everything about the building I, I support. The new community center will serve nearly limitless uses. Nearly 11,000 square feet of space will contain a community room that seats up to 300 people, a full kitchen, a meeting room for smaller group functions, giving our area a place for a variety of events, receptions, reunions, senior meals, and after-school activities. It will be the gathering place we need for today, but it will also serve as a landmark for our heritage. Well, I think it'd be uh, very nice to keep a spirit of, uh, of the old school alive in there and uh, be a, a big asset to the community and the pictures, the trophies, all the things that we have down in our library basement, if they need a home. And I think this would be a great place for it. The benefits extend well beyond a meeting center. Plans also include an exercise room and a new handicap accessible home for Arlington's own Little Star Daycare. They've done well with this building. I don't know how long they've had it going, uh, but it, the space is a big issue anymore. Um, the, the numbers are increasing with the kids. I bring my child here, and our other children have gone here also. And through the years, I've noticed they just need more space. And to actually start with building a daycare would be very beneficial. This summer, I needed to step it up a notch. And so I talked to my neighbor ladies. And the three of us decided, since our, our road was closed, that we would walk on the road. So every morning we would get up and walk our three miles. Well, Halloween hit and we stopped walking. I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice if we had that new Arlington Community Center where we can walk and we could gather there and walk inside in the winter when it's cold. There is another benefit the new Community Center will bring one that will entwine every fiber of the town and everyone who passes through. It's the benefit of growth, of improvement, a statement 
that Arlington isn't done. In a time when many Iowa small towns are slowly wasting away, we can take a step toward a brighter, better economic future, a new cornerstone of the community, generating not only fellowship, but immeasurable benefits for the health, wellness, and economic growth of the community. We're determined. We're not going to let our town die. I own property here. I own, we own, my husband and I. Anyone that owns property, you want your town to stay because it makes your property more valuable. Arlington is a town proud in heritage, rich in memories, and strong in character. We are here because this is our home, the place we choose to live. Our home is now at a crossroads. We can choose to let the school sit and continue to have its broken windows and empty hallways be a reminder of what this community was. Or we can raise the school and raise the community. With that, we can have a new thought when we drive through the heart of Arlington. A new thought of growth, a feeling of pride, a newfound strength in knowing that our past is still carried with us in our hearts. But our future will be defined not by those memories, but by the legacy we choose to create by investing in Arlington, by building a place for friendships, a center for gathering, a better environment for our youth, by building a new center, a new center for the community. I think that's what the new community center as a, as a room can help, really help with there, to give us a, a location that we're really proud of and a location that, that can serve as those same functions that we used to have in here as we, we all grew up together. There's a lot of memories at that spot where we had during our lovely years in school. And uh, I think it'd be great for the community. Well, we have to give young families a reason to move to this town. They're the growth of the community. When a building is left unused, it falls apart. And it becomes an eyesore. It becomes a sadness to the community. It becomes a source of, can't we do something about this? And no matter how hard we try, it's hard to get the building down. Well, I think we're at the end of that sadness because what I see is a plan in action, a plan to take the building down, a plan to replace the building with a building that now can be used so I'm happy to support this, this um, new building. When you lived here, or if you're still living here, your parents, your grandparents, your friends, your neighbors, they all contributed to this community. And this is our time now to invest in our community's future, or your past when you were here. Invest back in your community that helped get you out to where you are today. You can help preserve memories and provide a home for future generations to make memories of their home. While grants have been secured for the school demolition and cleanup, private funds are needed to reach the campaign goal of $900,000. When you are asked, please give generously.